West Virginia University graduate has gained some national attention for his tremendous weight loss. Our Jake Ostrov got in touch with him to find out how he pulled it off in the middle of a pandemic. There's Peter before. Show Peter before. Well, let's see him now. Peter, come on out. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Peter Schroederbeck's journey began in Morgantown. Weighing 442 pounds, Peter's time walking up the hills on campus at West Virginia University were enough to tell him that he needed to change his diet. We'd be going up like a big hill or something, and I'd be in the back of the class just like, you know, slugging behind, whereas everyone else is, you know, way up the hill. And I was just, you know, like gasping for breath. And I just kind of realized, like, you know, this is, you know, bad. A member of the class of 2020, Peter was sent home to Connecticut in March and graduated virtually with his classmates. While the world worked from home and swapped khakis for sweats, Peter kept with his program and had a little ball of encouragement at his side, Toby, his one-year-old beagle. When we first started off, he was the one who was like, after we finished walking, he still had like tons of energy and I was just like, you know, dead because I still weighed a lot. And then now we'll go on like these jogs for like four miles and then towards the end, he starts to get bored and tired and he just doesn't really, he just wants to go home kind of and take a nap. And I'm the one who, you know, still has the energy to finish off. It hasn't been an easy journey, but Peter now steps onto the scale and sees a new man. One who has lost almost 210 pounds in about a year. He may not quite be done with his journey of weight loss, but Peter has not felt this good about himself in a very long time. Why stick with it through this point? I'm happier right now than I've ever been really in my whole life. When I started to lose the weight, I just, you know, slowly became a happier person. That's what really, you know, keeps me going. That's why I haven't stopped. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Jake Ostrove.